we are starting with a new chapter now that is plant growth and development in this chapter we will discuss uh, what exactly we mean by growth in case of plants various types of growth that we see then the growth pattern and we will also discuss the hormones phytohormones which are responsible for growth of the plant and uh, towards the end we will also talk about factors like light photo period we will discuss about long day short day plants and all those categories so let us start with the first thing that is growth and we have to keep in mind that we are talking about plant growth how do we define this growth in case of plants it is defined as irreversible permanent increase in size of the entire plant size of the entire plant or an organ or a tissue or even at a cellular level or a cell this is what is defined as growth in case of plants and growth is always accompanied by metabolism accompanied by meta Bolism. That means there are all those various kinds of reactions which keep taking place in the plants which are linked with growth. Second important thing that growth in plants is indeterminate. Growth in plants is indeterminate. And this can also be termed as open form of growth. Open form of growth. This means that plants keep growing as long as they live. And that is why we said in the beginning that we have to keep in mind that we are talking about plant growth. In animals, the growth takes place up to a certain age. Whereas in case of plants, the growth is indeterminate. That means there are always some cells which are continuously dividing and are helping in this increase in the size of the plant body or organ or tissue or even a cell. So that is known as open form of cell or open form of growth, which means some cells continuously divide and we know in plants there are meristematic cells which are continuously divided third important thing that plant growth is measurable so growth is measurable how do we measure this growth this is actually increase in protoplasmic content increase in protoplasmic content that means when we say a plant is growing or organ or cell is growing there is accumulation or increase in protoplasmic content it is very difficult to measure the increase in protoplasmic content so the plant growth is measured by certain comparable factors like it can be increase in fresh weight it can be increase in dry weight it can be increase in the number of cells also so these are the things which can be measured or easily understood we can also include 
increase in length, increase in overall size. So, if we have to calculate that protoplasmic content has increased, it is going to be very difficult to actually assess. But if we measure the fresh weight, that means how much organic matter is synthesized at time A and at time B, it can easily be concluded that growth has taken place. Dry weight is after removal of water content. Again, we can compare at the initial time and final time. We can see increase in length, increase in size and also the number of cells. So, growth in plants, though it is indeterminate, that means it is going to take place and throughout their entire life, but it can be measured. Now, let us talk about phases of growth. Phases of growth. We have discussed this or rather we discuss it whenever we talk about the structure of root. And if you remember the structure of root is something like this when we start uh, studying uh, root morphology. We say that this particular part, the tip region has meristematic cells. These are the cells which are continuously dividing. So this zone or this area is known as meristematic zone. Then these cells which are continuously dividing cells, they elongate due to enlargement of the vacuole which is present in the cell. So this is known as zone of elongation. And then the cells, they undergo maturation and differentiation. So we call this as zone of maturation. And these are the actual phases of growth. So first is written as meristematic phase where the cells are dividing. So it is also considered as cell division phase. Second is elongation phase and during elongation the vacuole is enlarged or it gets enlarged. So it is also vacuolar enlargement. And the third is known as differentiation or maturation phase. In this phase, the cells, they get differentiated or they mature to form or to perform various special functions. So now they will be specialized for a particular thing. For example, in meristematic cells and as we are talking about this root, this would be the apical meristem. The cells will elongate. When they get differentiated, some cells would form parenchymatous cells, some would change into xylem and phloem to perform various functions. There is a difference in these cell uh, structures also. Meristematic cells are isodiametric without any intercellular spaces and they have primary cell wall. This is again a repetition of what we uh, do in case of the uh, anatomy of flowering plants. Elongation which is a special feature of a plant cell that they have a very large vacuole and that helps in the elongation and differentiation is to change into a specialized cell so that now the cell can perform a specific function in the plant. So these are few important things about growth. Now let us talk about the arithmetic and geometric growth diagram.